How to use pogies as bait to catch this 33 inch striped bass. Or will the 33 inch striped bass hit my pogie before I can solve this Rubik's Cube? <laughs> In this kayak fishing trip, it's early in the morning on the 4th of July. It's Independence Day. I heard the pat 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 sounds of a school of pogies nearby, otherwise known as Bunker or Menhaden. To use pogies as bait, you have to use a weighted trident hook to snag them first and then live line them with a circle hook in the front of its dorsal fin, then fish them near the school of pogies or near the rocks where the big fish are always hunting. I was excited because bogey, pogies are great as larger bait for larger striped bass. Often, there are large striped bass that swim near the school of pogies and eat at them. So once I caught a few pogies and live lined them, I sat near the school of pogies and I just waited in anticipation. There's always the possibility that I'll get an immediate strike and since the pogies are large, it'll be a big fish. I also wanted to try a fun little experiment. Will I be able to solve a Rubik's Cube before the striped bass hits my pogey? I had always wanted to make a video like this. Imagine that I solved it quickly, and then right after, the striper hits. To solve the Rubik's Cube, you need to start from the bottom layer up and move up. The central squares of each side are fixed in position, so it's all about fixing the sides and corners, corner pieces of each face. I first solve a white cross and point that down towards the ground. I then solve the corner pieces of the first layer and the second layer, second layer uh, by, by moving the front side and top faces to bring them to the top, bring the pieces to the top, and then position them back down to the right corners. Once I have completed the bottom two layers, I then use four algorithms which I memorized uh, to solve the top layer by first forming a yellow cross, then filling in the yellow corners, then correcting the positions of the top corner pieces, and finally correcting the positions of the top side pieces. It took me around two minutes to solve it, but still no striper. You have to, you have to be very patient with pogies. Although it is true that you could get hit with an immediate bite, uh, the fish is so large, the bait fish is so large, that many smaller striped bass won't be able to swallow such a huge bait fish. So you have to wait around for a large enough fish to come around and find your bait. Or you may not catch anything at all. I hung around the school of pogies for an hour with no luck. Then I took a pogey on a live line and trolled it by the rocks patiently. The pogey eventually died, but the fish is very oily and great as bait, live or dead. So I used my secret weapon, which is to hook it from the chin through the nose to close its mouth and then continue to troll it by the rocks with a small floater about six feet above it to keep it in the sweet spot. It was not until the end of my two hour fishing trip that the striper hits. I was patiently trolling by the rocks, always with a hook in the ocean. It hit me by the rocks. That's where uh, I was always hoping to get find a large striped bass because that's where they're hunting for their prey too. I was actually ready to go home, so it's great that I was patient and waited it out. The fight was so exciting. You could hear the drag buzzing loudly as the line got pulled out. The striper took me for a little sleigh ride towards the, the rocky shoreline. My kayak hits the shore and a wave hits me as I'm fighting the striper. I almost tipped over, but I kept my core tight and stayed upright, thank God. I had to paddle out to the open ocean to fight and land this fish. You can see the wake that my kayak forms as the uh, striper pulls me out to sea on a little sleigh ride. It was so fun. I had, uh, I had to make sure that I was balanced on my kayak and I tried to keep the fish in front of me as much as possible. Eventually I was successful in landing the fish. There's a slot limit where I have fish, which means the fish needs to be between 28 inches and 35 inches to be a keeper. This fish, it was 33 inches. That was perfect. A really great fit in the slot limit and about as large as it can get. It's a keeper. I uh, harvested the striped bass and found the pogey in its stomach, swallowed whole, tail first. Unbelievable. <laughs> we had a feast for 4th of July. My friend uh, Carlos came by and cooked us ceviche with one half of the fish. I grilled the other half uh, in my Weber grill. We also had fish soup the next day. Uh, my wife made some um, vegetable curry as well. It was a great experience to catch a fish like this on the 4th of July. Do you catch striped bass with pogies? 
please share any friendly tips that you may have in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please th click like, comment, or subscribe. I have other fishing videos on my fishing playlist that you may enjoy.